fucking sick. It doesn't seem like rain's on the way, so a bit of cloudiness is totally fine with me. In Vienna, there are two markets worth checking out. I'll begin with the more distant one and then move on to the market closer to the tourist attractions. The Vienna weekly transportation pass doesn't go for a full 7 days from when you buy it. It's actually valid from Monday until 9am the next Monday, regardless of when you buy it. I used to be all about walking, but now I'm more into checking out public transportation options and using them whenever I can. I found out about this market through timeout. I'm not entirely sold on this place being the absolute coolest like timeout says, but the market here is massive and it feels like it's got everything. It's renowned as Vienna's largest food market. The last market had a traditional feel, but this one is more modern and tourist friendly. Maybe that's why this market is more well known. All the delicious food at the market got me craving some too. I heard about a renowned cafe, so I went to check it out. But it was packed and hectic, so I decided to swing by later when things calmed down a bit. While gazing at the Huawei store, something you won't find back in the States, it just clicked. Yep, I'm definitely in Europe. I've heard that Austrians may not be thrilled about Austria being associated with Eastern Europe. 
Maybe it's just a private thing. Living in a place that's seen as more well-off than cities like Prague and Budapest, which often pop into our heads when we think of Eastern Europe. People may say Vienna is in a hot spot for sightseeing, but there is something about it that always made me want to check it out. Maybe some movies had a hand in it. stands as the focal point for the big attractions in Vienna. I'm not entirely sure how it started, but in Korea, we've got two things named after Vienna. Vienna sausages and Vienna coffee. These little German ones made their way to Korea through imports, and somehow after that, these small type of sausages ended up being called Vienna sausages. Also, Vienna's Einspanner is known as Vienna coffee in Korea. I got curious what sets Korea's Vienna coffee apart from Einspanner. During my walk today, I unexpectedly passed by all three of Vienna's famous cafes, at least from the outside, and circled back to the cafe where I had been earlier. Hmm, taste-wise, maybe giving it a bit more time for the whipped cream and coffee to intermingle would have made a difference. This cake leaned a bit on the sweet side for me, yet surprisingly, the whipped cream balanced out the sweetness. I think it's because I left the warm cafe, suddenly I started feel drowsy. Plus the sun's going down, so I gotta muster up whatever energy I have left.
At this stage, I found myself wandering around, questioning if I was genuinely intrigued by the place, or if I was just feeling obligated to see everything since I'd come this far. When I got back to the Airbnb later and checked, it turns out I'd taken over 20,000 steps today. Vienna, off to a good start. When I'm at home, I'm either glued to my desk or lounging on the sofa all day. And that usually ends up with me complaining about back pain more often. However, as I travel and adjust to the new time zone after overcoming the initial jet lag, walking long distances becomes a daily routine and my body starts feeling lighter because of it. Plus the place I'm staying at this time is pretty sweet, so the walk back feels like a breeze. Traveling every day has this way of making even the simplest meals feels like a trip. It's like a little bit of magic that comes with every trip.